everyone welcome back to a brand new video my name is Brittany for those of you who are new if you are not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe I do upload at least once a week on this channel and for today's look we have a guest whose name is Jerry he is a client of mine who I see regularly getting facials and he was so kind enough to be a guest here on my channel to do his makeup so we're gonna be doing a pride look for the month of June because it is pride month. So I'm gonna be creating a more colorful look, more a little bit more dramatic. Um, I do have a few inspo pictures. We'll see which one you kind of wants to go with. So we're gonna be doing eyelashes and face and glam. So if you would like to see how I create this colorful makeup look, which I'm so excited to do, because I haven't done like a colorful look on someone. I'm excited, we're gonna be using the Smoky Palette from Carity. So if you would like to see how I create this eye makeup look and face makeup look, go ahead and please keep on watching. Why, hello again. So today we're actually starting with the eyes. Jerry already had his skin prepped. He came with moisturizer and his SPF, so there was no need to prep his skin. But I did start with the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Orange to kind of color correct his pigmentation he has on his lids. This is just going to help take away any of the hyperpigmentation he has. And when we add the concealer on top, we won't be able to see it. So I'm using a small brush to get into his eyelid space. Next, what we're going to do is add the concealer on top. I'm using the Milani Conceal Perfect in the shade Pure Beige. Writing that right, writing that, adding that right on top of his eyelid where we color corrected. And then I blended it out with a beauty sponge. Starting with the Carity palette, this is the shade called PDA, it's a purple. We're going to do a gradient starting from purple to blue and then a green shade and then go yellow. So that's what I'm going to put on here with a fluffy blending brush. doubled into a palette from Dew Color. This is from Amazon. This is a tropical palette. We're using the shade Mojito because this was the most vibrant green that I had. The other green from the Curie palette wasn't as, I guess, vibrant of a green. So I wanted to be more of a very accentuated green. So we're adding that right on the inner corner. And then we moved on to the other eye. I'm picking up Scandal from the Curie palette. I do go back and forth with the tropical and Curie palette, just FYI. And we're adding that to his left outer corner. shade called radioactive as you can see I start patting it in and blending it a lot of patting and blending to kind of get the pigmentation that you want remember to keep patience when doing this especially with color really really patience with packing on blending
gonna do here is set his moisturizer and SPF that he has on with the RCMA No Color Powder. This is a pro tip if you have a oily skin type. As I mentioned earlier in the video that I do see Jerry regularly and his skin type is oily. This is just gonna help prevent the oils coming through and that way his makeup does last all day matte but with a nice subtle glow. Not much is gonna come through with the oiliness. After we set down the powder, now I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. I'm using the same color corrector that we use on his eyelids. This is just gonna help brighten up his under eyes because he does have a little bit of pigmentation. Nothing wrong with that. We're just gonna color correct it and then we're gonna use a foundation over that. For foundation today we are using two different shades from the same brand dose of colors meet your hue foundation you already know i love that foundation oh my goodness i always rave about it that's all i have in my kit just kidding i have a couple other ones but that's like my primary go-to foundation for my kit and my clients just because it leaves a beautiful natural finish you can leave it matte you can make it dewy like it's so doable and so versatile on all skin types in my personal opinion so i'm just putting that with a brush and then i blend it in with the sephora 47 brush which i also do mention is one of my favorites and you know we kind of go in there with a little bit of a beauty sponge to blend it all out Jerry's under eyes we did go in with the Milani Conceal Perfect in the shade Pure Beige once again that's what we use to conceal his eyelids just using that on the under eyes because we want to give him you know that Kim K brightness on the under eyes so that's what I'm going to do here and blend it out cream contour we're using the shade cognac on his cheekbones we want to chisel that out and give him more of a lifted appearance so I'm using that right on the apples of the cheeks like right in between the earlobe and the temple just kind of giving him a little bit more of a snatched cream contour you know and I like to buff that in with a Morphe brush To set the under eyes, again, if you've seen my previous videos, I like to use the RCMA No Color Powder. I use very little on the under eyes and smile line areas, and unfortunately, I apologize. I didn't record the actual product of the powder foundation that I used on him next, but the reason why I use a powder foundation to seal everything down is because if in case he does take flash photography or if he goes out and you know someone has a flash this will prevent that flashback cast from coming in in the photo so i like to do this just to set everything down next we're moving on to bronzing up the skin and i'm using the nyx three-step scope i love this this is really great for a beginner freelance makeup artist or if you're someone who's just like beginner on doing your own makeup i really encourage this one to begin with there's only three shades and you can build up the color it's nothing too intense not too orangey or not too cool tone it's just like a perfect in between for highlight we are using the very most best you already know the dior universal highlighting palette in the shade gold absolutely stunning i mean look at this look at that like come on give it to me like all the glow of 2021 y'all needed is here. 
<laughs> For brows, we're using the Dipple Pomade. Pomade. I said pomade. <laughs> pomade in the shade medium brown. I am just following along his natural eyebrow shape. I'm not doing anything to intense or anything we're not going to do any carving this time we're just going to go with his natural eyebrow shape next we're going to do the same colors that we use on the lid lid space on the lower lash line is the exact same ones we're just putting that on the lower lash line to give it a little bit more of a glitz we used twilight little shimmers from my friend's company it's called bad gal wednesday i did use the nyx glitter glue to adhere it to his eyelids and i put that on the brow bone just to like give it a little bit of a like glam you know like just Zhuzh it up a bit. I just felt like it kind of pulled the whole entire look together. For lip liner, we're using the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in the shade Gingerbread. I did overline his top lip a little bit more just because he did want it to be a little bit more full. So that's what I went ahead and did here. And then for the lip color in the center, we're using the Sephora Collection Cream lip stain liquid lipstick in the shade 66 it's called skin deep it's a new shade and i thought that it paired very well with the lip liner and i topped it off with the nyx clear gloss i'll put a picture of it because i forgot to take the product shot i apologize and then we're gonna add some mascara i use the l'oreal l'oreal carbon black mascara we added some lashes today we use the demi wispies from ardell which are my favorite they're very subtle. because they flare out and then I pinched his natural lashes and the falsies together so that way they look together as one and we set the face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and we set it all down and that is it. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video. Doodles!